Okay, fifth grade, lesson 59. This is on fractions equal to one and then also subtracting a fraction from one. All right, so let me just kind of review a few things with you, okay? You know, if you were to see this, okay, what would you tell me the fraction is for that? One whole. One whole, okay, but it, as a fraction, what would you tell me it was? Two two. Yes, a two, two. Uh -huh. two, two. Uh-huh. Two out of two are filled, which okay. equals one whole. Right. And so you answered actually the correct, correct, correct way. Okay? So let's try it this way. What if I did that? Three, three, one three, whole. Three, three, which is really one whole, right? And I can keep going, doing four, five, six, and it keep going, okay? But you got it right. Now, if I told you, listen to this question or this statement, write a fraction that is equal to one that has a denominator of four. What would be in the numerator? Four. Four, okay? So that was just kind of like one of the questions, one of the problems to work, okay? okay. You understand it? Yes. Okay, good. Now, if I were to ask you to add one-fourth plus three-fourths, do you remember what to do with this four? Um, like, don't add it and you just don't. add the numerator. You don't. You don't add it because that would be kind of like this. One-fourth plus three-fourths makes one, two, three, four-fourths. So you're exactly right. You only add the numerator and you leave the denominator as it is when you're working yeah. with fractions. Remember that rule? Yes. Okay, now, so if I were to tell you to compare five whole pies with four and three-thirds. Okay. Okay, is it going to be greater than, equal to, or less than? Equal to. Yes, very good, because we have four whole pies plus three out of three, which is another whole pie, which gives us one more, which really gives us five. So we're basically asking ourselves that, right? Yes. To compare. So it would be equal. Very good. All right. Now, what if I said to add one and a half plus one and a half? I think there's an easy way to get this because we're working with halves. Um, three and three, like three holes. Okay, Wouldn't three it? holes. Yes. Okay. So let's let's just add the um okay the uh just went blank whole number. Woo! One plus one is two, and then when I would take one over two plus another one over two, I would add my numerators. One plus one, which would equal two, and then remember you just bring your new denominator over. So I would get two and two two, right? Or three. And that two twos is really one whole, so two plus one makes three. Very good. You did it exactly right. All right, now, this is kind of cool. If I told you to take one whole pie and to take away one third of it, okay, what okay. would the answer be? Well, what does one whole pie equal if our denominator or our pie is cut into Three. threes? See, I used this little trick over here to realize what this is. So, so tell me what this one would be. minus one third. One minus one third. But what is one whole in a fraction form? Three three. Yes. Okay. So now watch this. That equals the same. So then when I take away one third from it, I get just be two thirds. Yeah. Isn't that a cool trick? Yeah. To do. Yeah. Good job on that. Okay, so he did, Eli did it just right. Good job. All right, that is lesson 59.